This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Welcome back to C-SPAN Center, your source for all the hottest political action. Incredible! We have a final score in the big game! This isn't some damn game. Yeah, and not surprisingly... That guy lost. Yeah. <laughs> GOP House Team Captain John Boehner there. He lost big time. Yeah. A lot of people questioned his strategy going into the game. This isn't some damn game. Yeah, we got it's that. It's hard to win with that approach. Yeah. Here he is calling plays late in the fourth quarter. There are a lot of opinions about uh, what direction to go. Uh, there have been no decisions about what exactly we will do. Uh, you've heard of the option play? Yeah. Well, that's what they call the no option play. The Obama <laughs> team captain had his own opinion about what went wrong for John Boehner. And it turns out that he can't control his caucus. Hey now, careful Oh here. my gosh. Oh jeez. What is that exactly? <laughs> I think he's talking something like ball control. I think uh, at this time it's best if we moved on. Now, probably. some people say that GOP House team was getting its signals from GOP Senate rookie Ted Cruz. What did he have to say about the loss? I think he thinks that it was a win. Lots of people in Washington love to focus on the politics. It, it is unfortunately the game of this town. This isn't some damn game. Look out! Uh, uh, oh uh, boy, a fight in the clubhouse. Coming up, an update on that spectator who ran onto the field. He will not be mocked. He will not be mocked. Don't touch me. Jeez, I think she's been drafted by the Tea Party team. Why? I smell bad crap. I do get your right. I think you're right. I love the smell of bad crap in the morning. I absolutely think you're right. They are insane, and I, I you know... It, it is an amazing thing that we just lived through, really. But it was so, listen, I, I just hope everybody remembers. This is the problem I have with the ADD nation that we are, uh, you know, that we have become. <clears throat> I, I don't know if people are going to have the same uh, uh, presence of mind that they've had uh, during the past three weeks where, you know, people understand that this nation was held up uh, without a gun. It was held up by uh, insurgents, by ec economic terrorists, by uh, people who had it in their head to destroy the entire government, the entire republic, the entire uh, economics, uh, uh, the system, the, uh, the the idea that you know uh, you you get the votes and you you know if you don't like a law you get the votes and you make a new law. You don't like a law you get the votes you amend a law. You don't like a law you you get the votes and you repeat a law you delay a law you fix a law you know this all went uh, out the window and it wasn't without cost yesterday i became aware that the cost was about 20 billion dollars today uh, Standard and Poor's clears all that up for me. That would be incorrect. I would have been wrong. If I said this cost us $20 billion, then Randy Rhodes was wrong because it cost us $24 billion in lost economic activity, lost receipts, lost consumer activity, $2 billion more to service the debt, $2 billion from the Treasury. I, this is so... And now we have to reopen the government. Everybody's got to make up for the three weeks of work that they weren't there to do so there's costs associated with that as well uh, let me tell you something these people who uh, they don't even know what they didn't know they didn't know what they wanted you know when we first saw the ransom list there were so many things in there, it was mind-blowing, okay? Yeah, defund Obamacare, then delay Obamacare, then delay the individual mandate, then deny coverage to the president, then deny coverage to the cabinet members, then deny coverage to their own staffers, Twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar a year staffers. Then deny birth control coverage for women. Then approve the Keystone Pipeline. Then means test for Medicare. Then change the pensions for federal employees. Then expand federal lands for oil drilling. Then block net neutrality. Tort reform. Weaken regulations for the coal-fired power plants. Tax code changes they wanted. EPA changes they wanted. Coal ash regulations they wanted the medical device tax to be repealed or delayed for a couple of years or one year or three years then they wanted to change the whole rules on the debt ceiling whether or not I mean they got none of these things but we got stuck with the bill for their political party 